Hi everybody, it's Carrie Gans from Newbie Rewards. That's newbierewards.com. Once again, you got to get over there. We've got tons of uh, applications and resources and ebooks and uh, all kinds of videos and video courses. And it's not only for the newbie, it's for the intermediate as well as the advanced internet marketer. But we've got all kinds of material. There may be still some free memberships available. I truthfully have no idea. I don't really watch it. But um, if not, take a silver or platinum. Go for it. Uh, our uh, plugin of the day for WordPress is called Twitter Tools. Now, there are a lot of Twitter applications out there, but I thought, I, and I just like to bring them to your attention, and then you can decide you know, which one you want to use. And this one is pretty thorough. And the way you would find it is if you go to, ins to your plugins and then click on Add New. Uh, for those of you that have been following the videos, I apologize for repetition. And then you go to, ins you'll be in your Install Plugins page. It always lands on the search. Now, there are also you can upload, and there are featured and popular, and newest and recently updated uh, plugins. You can check those out you know, as you're here. But if you want to find Twitter tools, just type in Twitter tools and click search. And there it is, right at the top. And what you'll do is you'll go ahead and click install. Now, I've already installed it, so I'm not going to do it again. But and then there are other Twitter tools applications and, and plugins that you can use, but you have to have Twitter tools installed first. So go ahead and install Twitter tools, and then you can look at the other uh, plugins that go along with it. But you must have Twitter tools installed first. So you're going to click on install. A page will open up. It'll install the plugin. It'll ask you to activate it. And go ahead and activate. Once you've activated it, what you'll do is you'll go to, Twi on the left-hand side of the page, under Settings, you'll go down to Twitter Tools. Click on it. And then you'll go to the Options page, and it's full of options. So you're really going to have to go through this uh, on your own and decide what's appropriate for your blog or not. And be careful, because there are lots of, uh, lots of various uh, options here that you need to, you know, to look at. Um, you'll need to know how many tweets you want to show in your sidebar, you want to, it'll be, how, what chronological order, do you want to have them all done or just some of them? Uh, what prefix do you want in front of the tweet? So that um, whatever it'll be when this, because you're going to go from your blog to your Twitter account. You'll put your Twitter account up on top. What I admit did here is I messed it up. Um, so I'm going to put it in the right way. And let me update. Okay. And you can test the login information. It's testing it just to make sure it's right. And uh, failed. I know why. It's one word. So now, oh, didn't put in. So you see, you'll learn by my mistakes. Login succeeded. Okay. Anyway, so you, you just go through these one by one. They're all self-explanatory. And then you can go ahead and um, make a decision as to how you want to do it. Once you're done filling out all these options, then what I want you to do is go over to under appearance, you go to widgets. And what you'll do is you're going to drag, see over here, I've already done it, but this Twitter tools widget will appear on this left side. You're going to just drag it over onto your sidebar. When you do it, it'll be open like this. You can go ahead and put in whatever title you want for that widget and just click save. Okay, you can close it. And once again, when you open up your widget uh, page, it's going to be on the left side under Available Widgets. You just click with the left mouse button and drag it over to the sidebar and let it go. It'll open automatically. If you want to change the heading here, you can go ahead and do it. Once you've done that, you can go visit your site and see if it worked. Now, I have a lot of stuff on here because when I do these videos, I just tend to put all the plugins on. So you can see all the various little plugins that are on here. But if you scroll all the way down, here it is. Now, it hasn't checked yet. Let's see if we can click in here and see what happens. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. Now, that's really weird. That's very weird. Because you can see here, there's my Twitter account. So somehow this is not working. 
Don't know why. Let's go back and let's see if we can figure this out. There's my Twitter account. So, let's go back to the plugin. Maybe we'll all learn something from this. Okay, let's see. The first, let's look at the widget, see if there's anything I left out. Okay, nothing here. So let's go back to the Twitter tools. Make sure that it took my username and didn't change it. Yeah, see, right here. It's got to go in there. And then I've got, I updated it. And let's put the password in again. And update. And let's see what happens. Okay, let's see. Now it's in here. Perhaps that's just where it got messed up. Let's check it now. There it is. Okay, it was just that it didn't pick up that information, that's all. So anyway, you see that now it doesn't work all the time. you got to play with it a little bit. So please go over to uh, check out if you want to put your, your posts on Twitter. Uh, go ahead and do it. And, um, you know, you know, there it is. Everything's up on my blog. Enjoy. Um, and uh, we'll see you at the next little video. Don't forget, go over to uh, my other blog at twitterwrite.com, where you'll find all kinds of Twitter uh, applications, uh, that uh, the Twitter application of the day, which is kind of cool. Uh, and uh, we'll see you at the next video. Have a great day.